All right, welcome back to the back marker update. Today we're going to be looking at the truck series race that happened last night. Um, it was a very, very busy race, as you can see, but the winner was Nick Sanchez for Rev Racing. Now he's locked into the playoffs. Stage 1 was won by Johnny Sauter in the 45 Nice truck. Stage 2 was won by Tyler Ankrum in the McAnally 18 truck. And as you can see, our back markers fared fairly well. Um, three of them DNF'd, but, I mean, it's Daytona, what do you expect? And four people DNF'd. D and Q'd. They did not make the race. So as you can see, Brett Holmes through Thad Moffat. We have 4th, 5th, 6th, 8th, 9th, 12th place. Pretty good placements. Then 22nd, 23rd, 25th. That's okay. And then three DNFs with Keith McGee, 31st, Wallace Allen, 32nd, and Thad Moffat, 36th. And the four drivers that did not make the field, the 21 of Mason Maggio for Floridian Racing, 95 of Clay Greenfield, the 10 of Jennifer Joe Cobb, and the 36 of Ryan Huff. We have 12 cautions this race. Um, one of them was for weather, as you can see the red flag at lap 40. 30 minute delay, got back to racing. And then we had the overtime caution, which ended the race. And as you'll see in the thumb and the thumbnails for the clips we're about to watch, um, Taylor Gray got over, flipped wildly, but luckily was able to walk away. So speaking of clips, I have nine clips for us to watch of all the main highlights of the race. The first highlight is the lap seven wreck. On lap number seven, they somehow managed to have a big one just seven laps into the race. Um, Sanchez turn, gets turned, he's able to continue, but Friesen got turned in the middle of the pack. Second highlight, Wallace Allen loses a tire in turn two and crashes out of the race. You can see him spitting off there. Highlight number three, Keith McGee in the number 27 truck, crashes in the trioval after hitting the wall. He, that ended his night early. Then the next wreck happens, 32 gets spun in front of the field, collects Bailey Curry, gets spun right there. Next clip, 1 and 4 get together, 1 and 4 spin, 99 gets collected as well of Ben Rhodes, our champion. video, a bunch of trucks get into each other, McAnally trucks get involved, nothing that serious. I think that's the same highlight. No, that's different. The 75 and 7 get together and spin out. Then this was also the McAnally trucks, the 18 19 trucks get together along with Chase Purdy and the 77. And then the final wreck of the evening shows Taylor Gray flipping over the field, and I pause it at the, at the correct time. You can see Taylor Gray gets turned into the outside wall and starts flipping. So, um, this is our summary for the back markers at the Daytona 250. Jason White for RBR gets a gain of 22 places. Keith McGee, DNFs with RBR, but gets a gain of two places. Brian Duzat of FDNY Racing gets a gain of 20 places. All the back markers, except for two of them, have green, have good nights as they get plus one or higher in finishing results. Brett Holmes, plus 15. Lawless Allen, DNFs, but still gets a plus three. Thad Moffat is the worst of the back markers today. Started 10th, ended 36th, last place, negative 26 as a DNF. That's pretty bad. Timmy Hill has a game of plus 25. Stephen Parsons, plus 21. Spencer Boyd, plus 26. Cody Rothberg started 14th, finishes 23rd, minus 9. Not too bad, but could be better. Mason Massey, plus 7. Cody Roper, plus 8. And the four um, DNQs of the night, Jennifer Jo Cobb. Mason Maggio, Ryan Huff, and Clay Greenfield, all DNQ'd. Good effort, but just weren't fast enough. And we're going to look at, take a quick, quick look at the point standings. Um, as you can see, um, Nick Sanchez is locked in with his win. That's why I've X'd out his point margin. Not really going to have to worry about that unless we have more than 10 winners. 
Tyler Ankrum gets a pretty good points day. He's plus 12. Then you have Ekes, Holmes, Crafton. They're all plus 7. This doesn't really matter that much as we're way, we're way far away from the playoffs starting. But just nice to see people get a nice start. Hi, Majeski, Carruth. They, they all are pretty much solidifying themselves as good drivers. And then we have the people who are probably going to get knocked out rather quickly. Boyd, Curry, plus one. They only got a good night because of situ situations and wrecks, so they're probably going to get knocked out. And then Stephen Parsons, Timmy Hill. Duzat is part-time, so he's not going to be in here for long. White, Friesen, Enfinger, Wood, Die, and then Tanner Gray and Sauter. All had good nights, but just they're just going to have to wait until next week. I'm I'm pretty sure most of the people who are below the cut line are just gonna go right back into the cut right back into the playoffs after we finish another race. But good over, overall race. I'd rate this race seven out of ten. The weather definitely did ruin the mood a little bit. People were very people were complaining on my Discord server about the rain basically cursing us because we weren't going to be able to get the ARCA or truck races in, but we got both rates races in, so that's pretty cool and the problem now is is that Xfinity qualifying may get rained out. Currently, right now, Xfinity qualifying is going on. I have it in my on my phone that I'm watching, just glancing over. Looks like it's going to get through okay, but it probably will rain out pretty soon. The sky is pretty dark, so if Xfinity qualifying qualifying does get rained out, that's a bummer, and probably the race will probably be pushed to Sunday, and that could also be terrible because it's a hundred percent chance of rain on Sunday in Daytona, so. Looking at probably possibly a rain delay, so that's pretty unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Anyway, I just wanted to go through our backmarker update of the truck series. I'm going to be filming a video later going over the ARCA series, which was a wreck fest, but still got to talk about it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you don't, subscribe if you feel like it. I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloo!